stop. Jason, the governor says he needs a formal complaint filed. Yeah, and that complaint must come from a taxpayer there in Calumet County. It's something the governor says has not come across his desk just yet, but he expects that to happen very soon. Now, he described Ken Krantz's behavior today as unimaginable. This all as Krantz has gone on paid medical leave, records of inappropriate text messages initiated by the DA to a victim of domestic violence surfaced recently. He was prosecuting the woman's boyfriend at the time. The governor says that he has worked throughout his career as a DA and state attorney general to protect victims from this type of behavior. I've done a lot of work on in domestic uh, violence and feel very, very strongly about. Um, to see that uh, was shocking to me um, and of great concern. Now, once that complaint does come in, there's a whole uh, procedure that will have to be followed. The governor will first have to appoint a commissioner to oversee the hearing of Kratz. At that point, a hearing date will be set, and on that day, Kratz will have a chance to defend himself. It's only then that the governor will go ahead and make his final decision. And all this from start to finish, it could take about 30 days for the hearing to be taken care of.